Hey, Jim Gaffigan here, or at least what I'd look like as a dog on Nickelodeon's hit show, Paw Patrol. But I'm actually here to talk about my own show, The Jim Gaffigan Show, where I don't play a helpful dog, I play myself, an unhelpful person. Come on, Jim! Captain Turpin needs our help! Well, what about nap time? Aren't we dogs? The Jim Gaffigan Show. New season starts Father's Day on TV Land. Best part about being a dog is eating off the floor without all the judgment. Let's go, Jim! Be right there. <laughs> But we smell, because we're animals, right? We're just self-cleaning animals. We're like cats. We're like, Ugh. I know we're supposed to be like apes, but they're picking bugs off each other and eating it. We're like cats. We self-clean, we're grumpy, we're finicky eaters. I don't want to eat that. I don't feel like eating that right now. We like to think we're like dogs. I mean, I wish I was a dog. Dogs are always in a good mood. They're like, what is that, throw up? I'll eat it. I don't care. I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> dogs are happy to be anywhere. You ever see a homeless guy with a dog? The dog's like, this isn't that bad. <laughs> I was begging for food anyway, I mean. <laughs> but we're more like cats, right? But we can't even be like a cat, because a cat could scratch itself on a stationary object, and we'd be like, that's adorable. But if I scratch myself on a mannequin, at Victoria's Secret. <laughs> they call security. If I'm just like, oh, I got an itch here. <laughs> Especially if I'm purring, if I'm like, lots of undies around here, huh? And I love animals, and I love animal lovers. My favorite are the people that carry around the dog in a bag. Whenever I see that, I always think, what an adorable way to let us know you're crazy. Because <laughs> they're crazy. They're carrying around an animal that can walk <laughs> in a bag. They're not going to the vet, they're shopping. That's okay, but if I carry around a canned ham, I'm a weirdo. <laughs> It'd be one thing if the dog looked happy, but the dog always has a look on his face like, can you believe I'm sitting in a purse? I was part of Mexican royalty. <laughs> but I get it, I love dogs, and I think it's cute when people dress their dogs up. But how do you have your dog in a jacket and walk by a homeless person? <laughs> Sorry, I'd help, but I spent all my money on a coat for my animal that's born with a coat. <laughs> Try to be a good dad. I got my kids a dog. I rescued a dog. Thank you. Thank you. I, well, it's not like the dog was drowning. <laughs> The dog wasn't a victim of sex trafficking. I just went in a building, gave a guy money, and got a dog. <laughs> That's how I rescued it. After that, I rescued a pizza. <laughs> I actually, I had to wait to rescue the dog because the dog was in Jamaica. I don't know if it was on vacation. <laughs> but I rescued a dog from paradise so it could live in my crowded New York City apartment. <laughs> Sometimes I put the leash on the dog and it looks at me like, I used to run on the beach. <laughs> and now I sleep in a cage. <laughs> My only hope is that one day you'll get rescued. <laughs> but rescue is the language of today, right? And we mean adoption. Now, people don't even say they own dogs. Now people say they're a dog parent, but I feel like dogs are different from kids. Like, you, you never hear a parent say, you know, my son had some behavior problems, so we gave him to a friend who had a farm upstate. <laughs> and we can run around and we'll visit him on weekends. Recently, I was invited to a surprise birthday party. It was a surprise birthday party for a dog. That's right, I have friends that are mentally ill. <laughs> I went, I went, it was in my apartment building and I needed the material. <laughs> and to be fair, the dog was surprised. <laughs> didn't suspect a thing. Dog didn't know it was his birthday. The dog didn't know it had a birthday. <laughs> the dog wasn't sure why people were in the apartment. It was the dog's third birthday, which in dog years, doesn't matter. <laughs> Someone made that up and we just went along with it. Oh, one year equals seven for doggies? Okay. <laughs> when I see a dog, I'll do math. <laughs> That's not fulfilling some dog need, 
You know, there's not a dog sitting in a bar right now going, I'm not three, I'm 21. <laughs> I can legally drink. <laughs> That's not how dogs keep track of time. If you have a dog, you know they don't keep track of time. You've left your home, forgotten something, walked back in, only to be greeted by your dog like you've just returned from war. They're back! It's a miracle! They're back after I don't know how long, because I'm a dog! <laughs> these poor dogs! We just attach these points of view on these poor dogs. Like, dog is man's best friend? How desperate are humans? We're best friends, right? <laughs> Dog's like, well, aren't we different species? <laughs> but we're best friends forever. You know, you locked me in the house all day <laughs> with nothing but a bowl of water. <laughs> you think you let your best friend sit on the couch. <laughs> we're best friends. Now put on this fireman's outfit. We're gonna do a photo shoot for Instagram. <laughs> you know, sometimes when you sleep, I think about eating your face. But I get it, I love dogs too, I love animals. We all have the friend that announces they love animals in a way that implies the rest of us are drowning kittens. <laughs> yeah, but I love animals. Well, that's a pretty exclusive group of just you and anyone who's not a serial killer. <laughs> yeah, but I just get along with animals better. Or humans don't like you. It's a good thing babies have no idea how often they are compared to dogs. I would think that that would be pretty insulting to the babies. Let me be clear. I love all animals. I love to pet them. I love to eat them. I'm an all-around animal lover. But besides the drooling and whimpering, your dog is not that similar to a baby. Take the smells, for instance. Babies are the two extremes on the spectrum of smell. They either smell like heaven filled with lollipops or a microwave cesspool. The cleanest of clean dogs still smells like a dog. Allow me to list a few other differences. 1. Dogs come when you call their name. 2. The absence of birth control does not lead to pet ownership. 3. You don't have to worry about your dog ever becoming addicted to meth. 4. You do not have to save so your dog can go to college and then find out after they graduate they want to be an actor. 5. If someone is pushing a baby in a stroller, they are probably a parent or a caregiver. If someone is pushing a dog in a stroller, they are probably insane. Hi, thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you want. If you want to see more stand-up, I have more stand-up. Or if you want to see an original show like Let's Get Cooking or The Mike and Pat Show, that's available on my channel. But also, just know that I'll be posting a new video every day during this pandemic or until the world ends. Please hit subscribe and turn on your alert or notification button.